have a look how neat that looks. They have done a fantastic job with that. Hi guys, Brett here from Hearns Hobbies and today I'd like to talk to you about fitting up a nine steps electronic speed controller into your latest Tamiya build. Um, as you know, most of the kits now come without electronic speed controllers, like this TTO1 kit that I've got here. Um, could even be any of the re-rays that we've got behind us. So yeah, we offer the Nine Steps NSRC001 speed controller. So I'm going to go ahead and fit it now to a car and show you how we go about doing it. So let's jump in. So here I've got the TTO1. You can see on the overhead. And that's the, just the instruction build, no hop-ups or extras. It's just got the Hearns Racing um, bearing pack in it, which I've put. We've got the Fly Sky receiver sitting here, the highest D300 servo that all comes in our Tamiya Get It Going pack. Um, this is the radio here that we'll be using. So let's go ahead and get it mounted up. So I'm just going to open the packet here. Now in the packet you'll see... We, we have the speed controller ourselves. Now this is a great little unit um, and I'll probably zoom up here so we can get right in there and have a look if you don't mind. So we've got the unit here and you can see how small it is. It's a really nice compact unit and We've got the, one of the good features I like about it is the power switch actually slides on and off the body, the chassis of the speed controller. It comes with the kit connectors. So we've got bullet connectors here for the motor and we've got the classic Tamiya style connector here for the battery and the fit up. Again with a three wire and quite a long receiver lead on there which is good for numerous, a variety of um, installs, whatever the application might be. 60 amp rated unit. Yeah, splash proof. Let's go and get it in. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out again, guys. Okay, so in the packet, we've got our operating instructions. Now, the good thing about these is they're pretty much plug and play. So there's a few adjustments that you have to double check on your transmitter before plugging it in but it is like self-calibrating and self-sensing, so it should just plug straight in and work. And we've got some good quality double-sided mounting tape here. It comes with two bits, one for the switch if you relocate it, and one little square for the, for the speed controller itself, which is more than enough. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the car over and we'll set about getting it in. So I'm just gonna zoom up again, guys, like so. So we're gonna put it in this area right here where we can see and we've got our, I've got our receiver in. Um, yeah, we've got our speed controller. So let's go ahead. The first thing I'm going to do is use a bit of uh, thinners here, and I've got a lint three, a lint free cloth. I'm going to wipe down the chassis of the car and the speed controller body itself to make sure that we have good adhesion with our double sided tape. Okay. So you want to make sure that it's a are really good it's not going to harm the plastics and it is going to get any traces of, of oil or the mold release off of the the chassis case and the speed controller so there we are I'll let that dry off being a being a thinner or being a solvent like this it's just going to be pretty much self-drying got another tissue here give it a little wipe Now before I actually glue it to the chassis, I like to, to double check the operation and make sure that it's all going to go to plan. So here I've got our Tornado TRC 2400 milliamp battery and that comes with our Tamiya Get It Going pack. So I'm just gonna sit this over to the side here. I'll, I'll zoom out again if you don't mind guys, like so. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is plug it into my receiver port. Now that goes in channel 2 in the receiver. If you want an easy way to remember that, it's channel 1 to turn, channel 2 to burn. Okie dokes. And then I'll go ahead and plug the motor wires in. Should be pretty much yellow to yellow and green to blue in most situations. 
I'm going to use the battery box here actually as a as a car stand so make sure the car doesn't shoot off the bench and the wheels aren't touching the, the chassis <coughs> sorry the wheels aren't touching the, the tabletop now go ahead I'm going to turn the radio gear to the on I'm going to make sure all my dials are at zero and a hundred percent rate and this is the first time this car has been powered up okay turn the switch on we should hear some beeps one beep one long beep okay so what that's telling me is that is that is all ready to go so yep yeah, I can just adjust my jewel right here make sure that I don't have too much steering throw like so I'm gonna adjust my steering trim just so it looks sort of right like so that D300 is a really good servo okay and then we can gently power it up and let's see what happens and we've got full we've got full speed in front going forward we've got brake and then we've got reverse okay so we know that it is in fact working and it's working as it should now when I said plug and play you didn't believe me but that's how easy it is to set up okay so now it should be as easy as just we'll dummy up the position I'll unplug the battery for the moment I'll put the car back onto the table so it's not moving around and then it's just a nice just a way of actually fitting it into the into the car itself which we can see how the wire is going to sit make sure they're not going to get in way of the prop shaft or anything I'll go ahead and I'll plug this out I've got some some little uh, needle nose pliers here to help the routing of the, the routing of the wire can be a little bit fiddly sometimes these jobs but you want to make sure that you do a nice job on your wires and where you put them otherwise it can end up um, you know giving you reliability problems and that's the last thing you want if you get it done right once that should be pretty much it here we go got my receiver wire here now I should be able to pretty much put the speed controller in that location there and I want to leave I want to leave the switch intact on the speed controller if I can so it doesn't have any chance of coming loose and that fits in there perfectly and quite neat I'll just poke this wire down Yep, then I can go ahead here and I'll plug this speed controller to receiver connection back in, like so. I want to make sure that it's not in the way of any of the steering linkage, which it's not. There we go. That is a really neat little fit. So I've dummied that up now. I'll go ahead and I'll put the double sided tape on peel one, off, one side off first put the tape on the speed controller or ESC as it's commonly referred to and ESC sort of means electronic speed controller just got to pick the backing off of this double sided tape so sticky such good quality tape this one Got my little pliers here. We'll get that up. Okay. We'll get it sitting back in there. Back in situ. Like so. And there we have it. 
like that I'll put the battery wire try and make that neat somewhat put the motor wire over here I'm gonna make sure that they're not bound up or tangled in anything there we go a little bit of plastic here will hold it in place and there we have the speed controller fitted up so if I zoom in here really close again you'll be able to see in fact how neat it looks how well that tapes holding it in and we've got our switch our switch here it's for power it on or off so now we'll put the battery in and we'll try it out these TTO1 cars really love a Tamiya style stick battery because that's what the chassis tub was designed for and they just fit fantastic go ahead plug the battery in turn my radio gear on like so power up the speed controller with the switch and off we go the car is ready to go have a look how neat that looks they have done a fantastic job with that okay so now we've got this electronic speed controller in and that's how easy it is to fit up the nine steps nsr001 electronic speed controller to your tamiya build I'm Brett from Hearns and thanks for watching.